so this n minus 5 factorial and n minus 5 factorial get cancelled in denominator i have 5 committee of 5 members are to be selected out of 6 gentlemen and 4 ladies if a team consists of exactly 2 wicket and at least 4 bowlers 5 friends are there in how many ways he can invite one or more of his friends to his birthday party Hello everyone, welcome back to my new session. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty. In my previous session, I have started combinations. So today I will explain some important problems on combinations. So today I will finish this combination topic. So let's get started. The first problem, find 6 red and 4 blue balls. In how many ways 2 red, 2 blue balls can be selected? Listen carefully, find 6 red and 4 blue balls in how many ways 2 red and 2 blue balls can be selected. So in how many ways 2 red and 2 blue balls can be selected out of 6 red and 4 blue. So it is very simple. 6C2 and 4C2. That's it. 6C2 and 4C2. Out of 6 red and 4 blue, in how many ways 2 red and 2 blue balls can be selected? That is 6C2 into 4C2. So find the value of 6C2. 6 factorial by 6 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 6 minus 2 is 4, 3, 2, 1 into 2 into 1, 2 into 1, 2 into 1 get cancelled and you can cancel this 4 into 3, 4 into 3, 2 1s are, 2 3s are, so it is 15 and find this 4C2 so every step you have to explain in exam 4 factorial that is 4, 3, 2, 1 by 4 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial. So it is 24 or 4, 3, 2, 1 by 2 factorial into 2 factorial. This is factorial. So 2 into 1, 2 into 1 get cancelled. 2 1s are, 2 2s are. So, the value of 4C2 is 2, 2 3s are 6, 2 into 3, 6 and the value of 6C2 is 15. So, 15 into 6, 90 ways. So, 90 ways we can select this 2 red and 2 blue balls out of 6 red and 4 red balls. Very simple concept it is. 4 marks question, how many ways we can select the balls? Here we are not using in a particular order, in a sequential order. So combination means without considering an order, that is called as combinations. We are not selecting the balls in a particular order, clear? So this is a final answer. And the next problem, find the value of n if np4 is equal to 24 into nc5. So, first you have to expand this, apply the formula for NP4, N factorial by N minus R factorial. So, N minus R means it is N minus 4 factorial, clear? NP4, N factorial by N minus 4 factorial is equal to 24 into N factorial by N minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial because this is the formula of NCR and this is NPR. In LHS we have NP4, in RHS NC5. So N factorial by N minus 4 factorial and 24 into N factorial by N minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial. So now N factorial means I can write it is N into N minus 1, N minus 2, N minus 3, 
up to n minus 4 factorial because in denominator I have n minus 4 factorial. So n minus 4 factorial. So this n minus 4 factorial, n minus 4 factorial get cancelled. And in RHS, I have 24. So 24 means in factorial form, I can write it is 4, 3, 2, 1 into n factorial means again n into n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4 into n minus 5 factorial because in denominator I have n minus 5 factorial. n minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial means 5 into 4, 3, 2, 1. Because here I have 5 factorial. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So 4, 3, 2, 1 and this 4, 3, 2, 1 get cancelled in denominator. Still I have n minus 5 factorial into 5. So this n minus 5 factorial and n minus 5 factorial get cancelled. In denominator I have 5. So I will write the remaining terms n into n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 into n minus 4 divided by 5 is equal to here in LHS I have n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3. So now I can cancel this n into n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 is equal to n into n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3. So easily you can cancel this numerator and numerator. So in LHS, I have cancelled everything. So in RHS, I have n minus 4 by 5. So 1 equals so. 1 equals n minus 4 by 5. You can cross multiply this. 5 into 1 is equal to 5. n minus 4. So we have to find the value of n. So n is equal to 5 plus 4. Cross multiply this minus 4 to this side. You will get 5 plus 4. So 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. The value of n is 9. It is very simple concept. Please understand the concept. If you want to find the value of n or value of r, you just apply the formula properly. So if it is NPR, apply the NPR formula. If it is NCR, apply NCR formula. So easily you will get the cancellations. And you can cancel the terms and you easily you can find the value of n or value of r. And the next problem. In how many ways committee of 5 members are to be selected? So totally how many members are there? Total committee of 5 members are to be selected out of 6 gentlemen and 4 ladies. 6 gentlemen and four ladies. So out of five members, committee of five members are to be selected out of six gentlemen and four ladies. So that committee includes at least two ladies. So first I will write ladies and gents. I will repeat the question. How many ways committee of 5 members? So totally we have 5 members are to be selected out of 6 gentlemen and 4 ladies. Not more than 6 gentlemen and not more than 4 ladies. Keep in mind that the committee includes at least 2 ladies. At least 2 ladies means if you are selecting at least 2 ladies. So what about the gentlemen? So remaining out of 5 members, the remaining gentlemen are? 3. So 3 plus 2. So totally we have 5 members. Understand the logic. So if you are selecting include at least 2 ladies. If you are selecting at least 2 ladies. The gentleman remaining gentlemen are 3. So totally 3 plus 2. We have 5 members. Clear? And simultaneously if you are selecting 3 ladies. So at least 2 ladies means it can be 2, 3 and 4. Not 1 and not 0. At least 2 ladies should be there. So 2 ladies. If you are selecting 2 ladies, 
So the gentlemen's are three remaining gentlemen's. And if you are selecting three, the remaining gentlemen's are two out of five members. It is very simple concept. And if you are selecting four ladies, the remaining gentlemen's are one. So totally we have five members. So now I'll write the combinations for this. First, try to write the table properly. So easily you can combinate the objects, right? So now I'll write the combinations for this. So totally we have four ladies and six gentlemen, right? So four is common, four ladies with two ladies. I'm comparing and into gentlemen's. So totally six gentlemen's. So I have selected three gentlemen's here. So it is four, six C3. So four C2, four means totally four ladies, but includes at least two ladies. I have selected two ladies and three gentlemen. That is four C2 and six C3. Four C2 and six C3. That is one combination. And for second combination, four C3 into six C2, six C2, six C2. And the last combination is 4C4 into 6C1. So this is a combination. So now you have to find the value. So first find out for 4C2. 4C2 is equal to 4 factorial that is 4, 3, 2, 1 divided by 4 minus 2 is 2 factorial that is 2 into 1 into r factorial. r factorial means 2 into 1. 2 into 1, 2 into 1 get cancelled. 2 1s are 2 2s are it is 6. 6 into 6 c3. 6 c3 is equal to 6 5 4 3 2 1 divided by 3. 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial that is 3 2 1 into 3 factorial is 3 2 1. You can cancel this and 2 1s are 2 2s are 3 1s are 3 2s are 10 20 ways. So 6 into 20 and it is totally 120 ways you can select it the ladies and gentlemen. If two ladies and three gentlemen out of five members that is 120 ways. So like that you can find 4C3 and 6C2. So 4C3 is equal to 4, 3, 2, 1 by 4 minus 3 is 1. So 3 factorial is 3, 2, 1. It is 4. 4C3 four is 4 and 6C2. Six 6C2, six 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 divided by 6 minus 2 is 4, 3, 2, 1 into 2 into 1. 4, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, sir. 2, 3, sir. It is 15. It is 60 ways. 15 into 4 is 60 ways. So last one is 4C4 into 6C1. So first I will find out for 4C4. So 4C4, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is 4 factorial. And in denominator, 4 minus 4. So 4 minus 4 is 0 factorial. Into 4 factorial, that is 4, 3, 2, 1. You can cancel this, you will get 1. So 4C4 means 1 into 6C1. And 6C1, 6 minus 1 is 5 factorial, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 into 1 factorial. So you can cancel this 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the remaining value is 6. So 6, C, 1 is 6. So it is 6 ways. So 120 ways we can select the ladies and gentlemen and 60 ways and 6 ways. It is very simple concept. And the next problem, a cricket team of 11 members is to be selected among 20 players including 6 bowlers, 3 wicket keepers. If a team consists of exactly 2 wicket and at least 4 bowlers, find the number of ways to be select such team. So, in cricket team, 
total 11 members is to be selected among 20 players. So totally 20 players, 6 bowlers. So you can write the bowlers, 6 bowlers and 3 wicket keepers. If a team consists of exactly 2 wicket and at least 4 bowlers. So 6 bowlers and 3 wicket keepers. So totally, so total players is 11. So totally 11 players. If a team consists of exactly 2 wicket and at least 4 bowlers. So 4 plus 2 is 6 and the remaining players are 5 players. That's it. I'll repeat a cricket team of 11 members. So totally 11 members are there is to be selected among 20 players. So out of 20 players, we have selected 11 members including 6 bowlers and 3 wicket keepers. If a team consists of exactly 2 wicket and at least 4 bowlers. So the remaining players are 5. And you can write the combinations for this. If the wicket players are 2, bowlers are 5 means the remaining are players are 4. And one more combination you can write. If the wicket players are 2 and the bowlers are 6. So 6 plus 2 is 8. The remaining players are 3. Now you can write the combinations 3C2 into 6C4 into 11C5 and 3C2 into 6C5 into 11C4 and 3C2 into 6C6 into 11C3. So now you can find the value of each 3C2, 6C4, 11C1, 5 and multiply this and find the combinations for this. So, you will get the final answer. And the next problem, a person has got 5 friends. In how many ways he can invite one or more of his friends to his birthday party? So, a person has got 5 friends. So, totally 5 friends are there. In how many ways he can invite one or more of his friends to his birthday party? Understand the question properly. So, first combination. When he invites, when he invites one friend, the combination is 5C1. Understand the logic. When he invites one friend, so the combination is 5C1. And when he invites two friends, the combination is 5C2. Clear? And when he invites three friends, the combination is 5C3. And when he invites four friends, the combination is 5C4 and finally when he invites 5 friends, the combination is 5C5. Clear? So now you have to find the value of 5C1, 5C2, 5C3, 5C4 and 5C5. So this is the combination. So now I will repeat, a person has got 5 friends, so totally 5 friends. In how many ways he can invite 5 friends? one or more of his friends to his birthday party. So, first you have to invite, he has to invite one friend, that is 5C1 and two friends, 5C2, three friends, 5C3, four friends and five friends. So, totally five friends, clear? So, this is a combination. So, please practice this 5C1, 5C2, 5C3 and 5C5. So, this is about your combination problem. So, easily you can find out the combinations, clear? So with this, we have end of this combinations topic. So in my next session, I will come with the last concept in unit 3 that is binomial coefficients. Thank you.